Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff Burns with USA, and you know what? I'm, I got something that's been really irking me lately as I talk to people about in politics lately. You know, it's something that, you know, uh, it's something that, you know, we all need to start saying and start, like, not saying it the way we've been saying it, and it's constitutional rights. That's a completely incorrect way to look at our rights as people, as citizens of America. It's how we shouldn't view them as constitutional rights. No. We should view them, and they are, inherent rights. There are inherent rights. They're ours because we breathe. We're born because we exist. They belong to us for that purpose. For, for the purposes, for what purpose? Well, because God gave them to us. No other. They're ours. But everywhere around the country, we hear all these mis, the misuse of terms so often and the misunderstandings of what the true definition or way things are. For example, like I said, constitutional inherent rights. Or people say dem we're a democracy. We're not. We're a constitutional republic. Our founders very specifically made us that to protect us from mob rule, from the majority taking the rights of the minority. You see, just because the majority wants to take away the rights of the 49% of the populace doesn't mean they can. And the reason for that is, is because no man can take them from you. You can only take them from yourself through criminal action, things like that, when you hurt somebody else. But your rights are inherent, inherently yours. And we all need to stop saying that we have constitutional rights, that we live in a democracy. They're saying we live in a constitutional republic where the freedom of the individual is sovereign and our rights are inherent and not to be legislated away by any man at all. When we speak in the terms of constitutional rights, we speak as if that document granted, granted us those rights. The reality of the matter is, those documents could not exist. Man should still be free, correct? Just because the Constitution no longer is in place, does that mean that all of a sudden man shouldn't be free? Of course not, that's preposterous. But see, the, the ideological left would have you believe that, you know, well, there's limitations to your rights. No, there's not. There's only one limitation, and that's that I don't infringe on another man's. That is the one limitation. And the Constitution doesn't give rights to anybody, just recognizes the fact that we already have them, and the only thing it limits is the government. And whenever the government's power, our founders would, would tell you, if you read their writings, you would know that whenever you speak of government power, when the Constitution grants it the authority to do, that wording, or the however it's written, is to be construed as narrowly as possible. But whenever it comes to the question of citizens' rights, is to be construed as broadly and as en encompassing a definition as possible. That's why our rights are unenumerated. And the documents that the founders wrote, our, our government has enumerated rights, numbered, limited. And thanks to things like the 14th Amendment, that goes for the states too. See, when they used to talk about them, you know, constitutional rights and like that, it used to be only until 1920. And that the only thought about in federal, like those were in regards to the federal government, had to respect this or that or whatever, or well, these rights are granted only by the federal government. No, they're by, it's all by every, it's all by all the states now, and your rights are yours, and they can't legislate away. And see, the problem is, see, we've, we've given up a lot of our rights. What have we given them away for? For, for safety, really, mainly, and more than anything else, safety. Supposed safety. False safety. Because you see, every time there's a mass shooting or something, they come up with a new gun law. And the problem with it, the one that did before that didn't work with it, it just wasn't as far, it didn't go far enough. But don't you see that every time something bad happens, we can never stop all evil, because people are creative in a positive and a negative way. And bad people will find new ways to do bad stuff. And good people will create and invent new things that are amazing and never thought would exist before. So you see, you can't protect from everything. You do, or you try to, you end up losing your freedom. Benjamin Franklin said, you know, this is misquoted so many times, I can't remember the exact wording right now. Basically, if you trade freedom for safety, you don't deserve either, you'll lose both. And that's a simplification of it, not the exact words, but damn close. And the same point. So everybody in this check for today reminding you that you have rights that aren't given to you by any piece of paper, by any politician, by anything on this earth. They're inherently yours. Whether you want, you want your believing God or not, I do. Given by creator or not, they're yours because you exist. We all know when we see human beings in chains, they're meant to be free, and it's wrong. And only the sick, psychopaths this world think otherwise, and they will think your rights are constitutional.
not inherent. They think majority rules, even over the individual. Have a good day, guys. Remember, your rights are yours. Doesn't breathe.